watch those. These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Papa, I, I mean, Judge Brown says so. Judge Brown? Doc, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Michael, uh, Corleone. Emmett Brown, but I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. I have important business to transact. Naturally, H2A multiplied by the inversion of H has to come out less than expectation value of A, right? No, no. What am I missing here? Or do we take H to stand for permitting the line up? But in that case, H to the A multiplied... Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. Come on, Doc. Uh, Emmett, uh, drop the legal eagle act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Corleone, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Your dad tell you that? Every morning. So Emmett, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till nine. Nine at night? But today's Saturday. Right. So I probably won't get off before ten. How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer, uh, or soda? What do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before eight, my pop would kill me. See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law, but I don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of scientific knowledge. Uh, the leg bone's connected to the thigh bone? Amazing. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. Oh, let's start over. Force equals mass times acceleration, of course. That's Newton. But how many Newtons are... Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I... Oh. Required to maintain a constant mass of acceleration is reduced by the inverse of the derivative of the speed of relative. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I Good know. grief! Is that me? I sound so... Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. Come on, wait up a minute. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? 
I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A! <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill? Then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office! I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Now that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. No! <gasps> it's Kid Tannen! Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. 